Hello everyone, peace be with you and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with Gods of North. I'm going to get into the cards but keep in mind collectives, this is a general reading which may or may not resonate with everyone. Please use your discernment and take what does, leave the rest behind. Okay, so Holy Spirit, what's the message you have for the collective energies please? What are the messages you have for the collective energies? Thank you. What are the messages you have for the collective energies? Okay, so I'll get a few more. Alright, so someone who walked away from you is now feeling rejected. Actually, this is they're coming up as the runner. So this person possibly had run away from a partnership, a relationship, a friendship, but they're coming up as the runner. So they could have abandoned you, rejected you, dismissed your emotion, your feelings resist you in all ways so this person maybe had left you behind come to a complete closure of a relationship with you ghosted you they disappeared without any form of notification but this same runner is seeing you in a different perspective now they are realizing now that they would be better off with you in their energy they are looking at you as being really empathetic vulnerable and very receptive and they're looking at you as having an open heart so this person ran away from the relationship and now they are looking at things from a different in a different perspective yes this person um was distracted they were possibly distracted by something maybe work or other people distracted them from you because they are coming up as being very hot and cold in um, their energy yeah and it's coming up as your divine masculine so this divine masculine is possibly a twin flame that we're talking about who actually run away from a relationship or the relationship to go on to different ventures not sure what they are looking for or looking at but they are um, they released the relationship or you release them because this coming up as someone let someone go someone walked away someone um moved on holy spirit give me some more please thank you yeah this person is very dishonest they are coming up as, as very dishonest and very tricky and deceptive. So possibly you realize that they were dishonest and you walk away because you were going through a lot of pain. The pain card fell on the floor. You were going through a lot of pain that this person had actually caused you. And that's the truth. So you've seen the clarity or seen some truth as to the intentions of this person. Or how they what you could have seen is who they really are their energy was revealed to you as to who you were dealing with yes but um they know time is of the essence with this relationship that they walked away from they know they know that the, the time is running out and <coughs> sorry I get a few more cards. Yeah, this person was influenced by attachment, third parties, or peers, could be attached to other people, places, or things that was not beneficial to this relationship that they walked away from. So they walked away into being distracted by other energies or peers that's in their energy. Yes, but now you're creating boundaries. This person needs to learn how to create um, boundaries 
knowing who to not be in their energy and know when to let go so i guess they let go of the wrong person here i'm feeling that now they are completely stressed out they are completely stressed out with the choices that they make now you're creating a boundary for yourself you are creating boundaries you're drawing a line so you know when to give up when something is not going well you know when to give up yeah thank you holy spirit you have had the realization that something was not going right so you decided to let go you have had an awakening or you have an understanding that something was just off i guess you were using your intuition with this one and you realize that it was time for you to create a boundary and release things or people as i said release release things or people that no longer serves your highest good and obviously this person was not being very honest to you coming off as your divine masculine as i said before very elusive very dishonest but at this time they are going through a lot of pain maybe for the choices that they created yeah they're maybe spying on you or you're spying on them but somebody is spying on somebody they're looking at you maybe through some form of social media yeah let me see what's here well i'm feeling that this person could be um actually at a distance from you maybe a geographical distance or emotional distance but you might not be speaking with this person at this moment this person is um could be um, in a different state, different country, or so forth. Um, somehow, there was a dis um, misunderstanding between, between you both. Where something went in a different direction. And this person just decided to walk away. This person was pretending and wearing a mask. And to that point, you realize that who this person really was. They possibly believe you knew them too much for them to ever still be in your energy so i feel like they walked away from you after the after this um conflict that you had they did not try to work it out they, did, they just went ghosted they just ghosted i'm losing cards okay so i have foundation here so they know you were in their life for a very long time should be for a very long time they know now that you were supposed to be a part of your life a family a long-term security where all my cards are falling yeah they want to come back for a second chance they want a second chance to say possibly that they are sorry they want to make an amends they want an opportunity with you again to maybe right their wrongs Anything else you want to start? I don't have enough space. Yeah, this person was very shallow. They were shallow, they were empty, and they're easily bored. So when they feel like they're bored, they went, they, they'll go on to third-party energies or something else to let them feel validated. Holy Spirit. Anything else? Yeah. As a matter of fact, this person possibly did not know that there were some consequences to be had from the choices that they made and it's coming up as cause and effect so whatever um is coming up as karma so whatever they did in the past they are reward they are being rewarded with karma at this time anything else for the spirit so whatever third party attachment they have going on hiding being dishonest um being conflicted running away from a relationship not sure how to live their life and they want to come in with an apology they want to come in to say it was a mistake but you know better to know it was a mistake <coughs> this was done intentionally but you're going on to a new beginning in maybe friendship, love, or some form of relationship. It could be even career. You're moving on into something new. As I said, you have released that burden. 
and you are healing. You're healing your inner child. You're healing your energy. You're releasing, purging, and cleansing your energy from anything that no longer serves your highest good. But someone was living into a world of fantasy, daydreaming and fantasizing of all the other things that no that does not serve them. But now they're coming up with karma. That's cause and effect. Okay. All my cards are dropping. All right, but there's going to be an emotional storm brewing in the background for someone. There's going to be a lot of turmoil in their life. They're going to be so affected by this karma that is being created, that they create for themselves. There's going to be an emotional storm. Can I find this emotional storm, please? Can I find this emotional storm? Yeah. Abandoned. This emotional storm is going to let them feel they're like, like they're abandoned. Everybody possibly is walking away from them. They're feeling left out in the cold, feeling like nobody loves them. They're feeling like no blessings are in their life. My desk is so small, I'm not in my original area. Because <laughs> my room is occupied. So I want, I have to use a different desk to do my thing. But... That's why I don't have the space. All right, but someone is living in memory. It could be someone from your past who's reminiscing about the, the good times that you had together, but they know they created issue. Oh, this way, give me some more on this memory card, please. Yeah, they wanna come in with a confession. Someone wants to say they're sorry, <clears throat> and it was all a mistake what happened. They wanna come clean. They wanna send a message to you. And they want to let you know they possibly want a new beginning. Yeah, but there's complete silence at the moment. There's nothing. Possibly someone's words are frozen. No one is speaking. But they are coming up as your soulmate. No one. Um, but your soulmate, your yang, tian yen. Is looking at you as very beautiful they're looking at you as being very charming very graceful and kind-hearted but they know they have broken your heart when they walked away they know what they did yeah now they're clinging on to your energy they're obsessing about your beauty and how kind-hearted you were but they know you are nourishing and cherishing yourself and you're going on to self-growth focusing on your soul finding and your maybe being one-on-one -on -one with the divine yes um you possibly had cloudy judgment at one point in this relationship but as i said before you are moving on now now realizing Removing the, the mask that you were wearing or these rose-colored glasses that have you blindfolded. You're removing that mask and now you're seeing things from a different angle. You're now ha having clear vision of what's happening, who this person really is. As I said, there was clarity shed on the situation as to who you're dealing with. But this person is coming up as very lusty and um, very non-committal. Are lusting and very non committal Holy Spirit. Give me some more to finish the reading of Holy Spirit. Anything else? Yeah. Now they're feeling like their life is a trash and they're now living in deep grief and sorrow. They want you to chase them. They're coming they they are like they they were the runner. They wanted you to chase them, but now the it feels like the role has flipped and they now want to be the chaser. So, but because of their pride, because of their pride, they feel like they're not able to come in to give you a solid apology. So they're hiding behind arrogance and ego and being very stubborn. All right, so you're moving on singly. Lo possibly you're lonely after all this betrayal. You could be feeling lonely and thinking, even missing them. Because Billy, um, they are your soulmate. So, are your twin flames. 
So you're going to miss them as well as they miss you. You're coming up as a divine feminine. So you have the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So you're coming up as the other half of them. But they're coming up in a bitter spirit because they know you are not even walking with I'm sorry about that. I got a call and got the call, the um the video disconnected. But I was saying, um, you could be possibly thinking about this person, but this person um or this person is thinking about you because you're coming up as a divine feminine. The yang to your yen. So you are both possibly mirroring each other. But you possibly had a um clouded judgment as I said before. Because you were wearing a rose colored glasses. But no. Everything is being enlightened to you. Your darkness was enlightened. You know exactly who this person was. That they were actually pretending to be who they weren't. Holy Spirit. Give me some, a few cards to show the reader. Thank you. Yeah. Someone's at a breaking point at this moment. Um reaching their final straw maybe being overwhelmed going through karma and feeling like they have reached the complete limit of what pain or agony as i said this person could be going through an emotional storm so they know or they could be going through that right now as we speak on spirit what's gonna be the outcome of this yeah they're bitter they're coming up as being bitter. Possibly bitter towards you because they know you no longer. They have seen through all this illusion that they 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 um build around you. But they're still hoping that one day or sometime in the future that you could both be together again. Yeah. They were keep keeping secrets. They were very um Maybe not very truthful. I don't want to say the right thing, but not very truthful in this relationship. So you figure it out. And before you could confront them with it, they knew it was over because they have to go because they can't defend themselves in in um this type of lie that they they created around them. So anything else on the spirit? Anything else? Yeah. No yes, as I said before, they're hoping and this, this person could be a past life relationship that you um come back in this lifetime to complete because something was not was not finished. So you come back to complete something here. It was a it was a karmic lesson in your life to teach you how possibly to love enough and even able to walk away from people or things that no longer serves your highest good. But by faith, someone else is hoping that they're able to manifest your energies back with theirs. Someone is feeling cursed and feeling maybe they're undergoing some negative mindset and feeling like someone has put a hex on them. But this is could this could just be their negative way of thinking. Let them feel that way. Oh, that's great. Any advice for this person? Any advice for this person? This person is shocked as to how this whole situation um, turned out. They didn't expect the relationship to just fall apart like stone or gravel. They didn't expect it because it was in their intention to run away for you to chase them. But you realized who they were after they ran away and you decided not to chase. You went on by... By um, seeing yourself in a different perspective, you moved on. Heal yourself, nourish yourself, nourish your soul. Have an, have an awakening and start pursuing higher goals for yourself. So, I'm going to get a message here. Um, um, let me get an oracle card. One card, one spirit from this deck. One card. One card, one spirit. What message would you have to share with this please? This twin, twin, twin. One, one card, please. Give me the card at best. So 
towards the energy. It says emotion and alchemy. I got two cards, so I'll just take both. It says, you are a wash with unexpressed emotion. Say exactly what you feel. It is safe for you to speak your truth. So as I said before, this person was hiding the truth. They maybe possibly wasn't talking the truth. So this, the card is saying it is okay for you to speak your truth. And um, I have the other one that says alchemy. Your inner light shines when you are at peace with yourself and the world around you. Let go of the struggle and feel the beauty inside you. Allow all to just be and just be you. So spirit wants for you to, for, well, remember you can always reverse the role. Speak the truth. Being an alchemist of your life is um, letting go of struggles and just be yourself and ask for guidance and protection from the Holy Spirit and they are, they'll be at your service. So collectives, thank you so much again for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. Peace. I leave with you. Goodbye.